this is an, a new project that we've been working on. You can see I'm starting to fidget and move my computer around a little bit and stuff because I'm a little bit nervous. This is, we, we call this leader uh, MLS and it's, it's designed originally to replace um, the MLS software or an IDX software for folks that live in places like Mexico, Spain, Malaysia. Um, we've had some people ask about this for Australia, England, uh, other countries, and they're looking for a way to be able to share listings <clears throat> with people uh, and use it in their word in their um, I apologize in their high level website. And we also have people that have asked about something like this for real estate investors. So these are off MLS or off market properties for real estate investors, wholesalers, flippers, and people like that. And they want a way to be able to load all these properties and be able to display them inside of um, high level. So this is a little different than what we've done in the past. Almost all of our software uses IDX Broker, iHome Finder, uses the MLS data. And this is a little bit of a step away from that because we have a bunch of people that have been asking us recently about something that is not the MLS data. And, and this is a new product. We're going to offer this in two solutions. I don't know if Carlos is going to get into this, but there's going to be one where you can just have, you know, a, a monthly thing and as a you can load some properties on your website, manage them over there, and we'll get some pricing here in the next week or two. And then there's going to be another option where you can set this up for your own network of real estate investors or your own network. You know, if somebody's working, uh, some folks are asking us about doing this in Dubai and in different countries and stuff, they'll probably have their own little network and we'll there'll be some different pricing for that. So we're going to have kind of a network or an enterprise solution, and we're going to have a single user solution. But Carlos, why don't you dive in and show us what you've been working on? Okay, thank you, James, for the introduction. Let me show you uh, the progress of the, pro uh, the progress of the project. And here we have a high-level website. And what is new here is that we have added a search widget and a sign-in button. These components, um, these widgets are uh, on a high level website. And this is what adds the functionality, the extra functionality that we need in order to upload properties, search properties, and save properties. So here we have a button where you can sign in or create a new account. And you, if you click on I'm a seller, uh, you will be required to complete the form. Uh, let me log in, in in an account. Hmm. I think I, I will need to create an account. <laughs> Let's create it quickly. Okay, I require to complete the form. Okay, now that I have created an account, I will be redirected to my properties uh, or my agent profile. Right now, I don't have any property, but I can upload a new property right here. So what, why this is something that we are very excited about, because this is a high level website. And in a high level website, it doesn't have this functionality to plot properties, but we are able to do it on, on, your, on your website. So you can uh, recreate this on any of your sub accounts or your client's account. So let's upload a property. And here we have a complete form uh, with a lot of uh, fields and let me create a new property that I have here. I'm going to create an, a, a property and uh, I need to start typing the location. So let's type here an address. Okay. 
and as you can see, the exact location is going to be set at the right map. So let's complete the form. I need to set a price, a property type, how many beds, full bats, half bats, the square feet, the year, year build, condition, and a description. Okay, this is also important. We can upload a contract here. And for the photos, you can drag and drop your photos. So let me select the photos and here we have the photos for this property. Um, but I don't want this image to be the main photo. I want to select this one. So I can click on it and select. Uh, I can uh, add more features of this property and I can click on save. It will say that this listing is going to be on review. Uh, that is because we don't want uh, the listings to be uh, fake listings or with images that uh, we don't want to have on the website. So you can uh, review and approve these listings or not. I want to see all my listings and here we have, I have one property and it's waiting for the approve, approval. So this is a, a private a agent profile, but if I want to search all the properties that all user has uh, submitted, we have this search page where you can see all the listings that people have submitted and you can start a uh, filtering. If you click on one property, it's going to redirect you to the details page with all the information that you have submitted. You have remarks, you have the map, location, features, images, and the similar listings. And as you can see at the URL, we have details and I, an ID of the, of the property. So this link you can copy and send it to, to your clients and you will have a listing on your high level website. So we are working on this. Um, right now you can upload and search for properties. We're still working on saving a search to receive a market updates via email and being able to save properties. So we are very, very excited about this project because this is something that high level doesn't have and it extend the functionalities that high level has and that you can offer to your clients. Thank you for, for your attention. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you for sharing that, Carlos. That's great. So like you said, this is kind of the first iteration of this. We're just, we've been working on it. Um, our, our, we're going to do our official launch on this the first week of June, which is in a couple weeks now, or a week and a half. And uh, we still have some more features that we're going to be building in through the course of June. And and our, you know, the the whole enchilada is going to be ready to go, uh, we think, you know, about the 4th of July. But we have some folks that are starting to use this, that are going to be loading properties in and showing it to their clients. And so we're pretty excited about this. Um, anybody have any questions, comments, suggestions about uh, this leader MLS project? Is this strictly a feature that's going to be on GHL websites or also for a WordPress website? That's a, great, <laughs> that's a great question. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad to to share with you that this um, integration can be implemented on any website that allows custom uh, code or custom HTML. Let me show you here in the backend. Uh, this is the website, and I'm going to see how the widgets are being uh, added. Here I'm adding a custom HTML JavaScript. And I just need these two lines of code. One that loads all the the components, the widgets that I need or yeah, necessary in order to make it work. And then you can start adding widgets like this. This is the quick search widget, as you can see here. 
and you can add it on your WordPress website. And also here we have the sign in button that is right here. So you can use it on any any platform that allows custom code that is most of them. This is a short, short code just like the rest of the widgets then. Yep, there's there's gonna be there's an admin dashboard too where the administrator is gonna be able to approve um, users and properties and things like that. We're, we we have it kind of branded right now, so that's why we didn't really show it here. But we're gonna um, that there'll, there'll be a dashboard in you know we have a web app that runs it, and then you'll be able to put these code snippets inside. Like it's kind of like a short code. It's a little bit different, but if you put it in wherever it says custom code. And it'll load on any platform, so should work on. Should work. We haven't tested it on anything besides high level right now, but it should work on Wix, Squarespace, anything like that that a person's going to be using. Good question. Um, any other questions about this uh, Leader MLS project? Mm -hmm.